This is a great honor for me to be talking about this piece because I really do adore it. It's uh, from the Magic Flute and it's called O Isis und Osiris. This is the um, male solo, bass solo, um, by Sarastro, the high priest. And this is obviously in um, masonry context. Although I keep insisting that uh, really the um, the text doesn't matter, the libretto, because at the end of the day the music is so expressive and so potent that anybody from any faith or with no faith can identify to it. If um, you pay attention to um, the the way it's interpreted by a great singer, as in here, um, obviously being a very difficult quite a low bass part in the score and on the stave. This is um, also extremely difficult because of the expression and the existential stances within the song, within the theme. And I talk about in another video how the Sarastro character, a very strong paternal figure, the ultimate one indeed, because he's the high priest, asking for help becomes a bit like an electoral candidate because it sort of softens his message and his tone and his pitch after listening to the um, chorus of High Priests. I also think that the breaths that he takes are extremely eloquent. And this is why, if you don't have the experience, life experience or the, and the experience as a singer, to do this, you can't really pull it off because you'll be singing that and it takes all your breath, by the way. It is very long phrases and very heavy expressions um, on the consonants and on the vowels. Every, every breath that comes with every sentence and every pause is pregnant with expectation and questions about what to say next and how to announce it, how to talk to the deities and how to talk to the people. And it's uh, full of reflections on how to propose a case for these people. Uh, it's full of um, careful preparation emotionally for the next step to take. It's full of emotional prepping also for carrying the burdens towards, I suppose, heaven in this context. The other thing that really strikes me in this, um, in this piece by Mozart, this, this song, is the role uh, the winds play. Really, I don't have the score in front of me, but uh, I quite like to look at the way there is this interaction between this, um, the compassion from the, um, the, the winds, uh, the brass, are amazing from the beginning. They introduce the phrases. This heavy bass has been accompanied by winds, so you got to wonder, really, if you discuss, I suppose, anthropologically or in terms of music psychology, what the winds can represent is really, I think, often this, the winds are really quite strong and universal as to, um, in their role to care, as to carry people when they already are quite powerful themselves. And those winds can actually represent whatever elements surround us and push us forward. So literally those winds are pushing the wings of many, many characters in operas and in um, oratorios. And really they're not like strings. The strings can be heavy if they're basses, but not quite in the same way as the winds. It's almost kind of organic, 
um, and they sort of like move us along. And from the beginning, they sort of caress the phrase without being too chunky and too details about it. And therefore you can mold yourself on this phrasing and this soft sort of layered path. On the voice and more emotional luggage, but the winds have already prepared that ahead. And somehow the winds announce it, but also make it easier for the bass to come in from the first bars and further along the winds are accompanying the bass and offering support. They are repeating these, these phrases and they are announcing they make it they, they're announcing the phrase in a lighter sort of version. And so subconsciously those winds are preparing the listener also and they're lightening the load they're making the equation, the average mathematics of the overall picture of this um, subconscious message musically a bit easier to digest. And this is my interpretation, but it only makes sense logically. Um, so, like a, a filmmaker would, if you have a really heavy sort of um, portion, a heavy scene, you need to soften it later by I don't know, a love scene or some kind of love character, some kind of thing like that. But this is the same kind of principle. Um, so you have those roles in the in this this part, and it's very moving how the winds sort of caress the whole path and carry. And like a second, second voice for this powerful human being, the, the big bass. I mean, you can't imagine a bigger priest in, in opera, I don't think, than Sarastro. And the priests are most of the time basses and very, very patriarchal figures. And there are powers just below the gods, as represented in opera and in um, oratorio. So to have the winds helping them, you can analyze what it means. You can paint this according to this interpretation of what the winds really represent.